Hello everyone and welcome to the Dex of the Weekend every Monday Mango video about what deck, what surprising deck did well in the weekend amongst the competitive formats. And uh, I always kick things off with Modern and uh, well there is a constant player, a player that very constantly does well with humans with weird cards in it, that's Fluor's Par and, he, uh, and they made the top 8 of Saturday Challenge with uh, well, a lot of things to unpack here. All right, let's start with the most basic one. That is Secluded Courtyard, which is an upgraded unclean territory because not only it gives you mana for humans, you can also use Activate Ability of Humans. Activate Ability of Humans might be, you would never guess it, Abzan Falconer Outlast. You'd be like, wait, what? What's this card doing here? Well, let's get two things, you, you, each creature gets a plus one plus one, um, sorry, Outlast, it's an activate ability that you put a counter on it, right? And what do you do with that counter? Well, you have Upriser Renegade, it's a two mana one three, but it gets plus two plus zero for each other modified creature you control. That means equipment, auras, and counters. So the Abzan Falconers will pump this, but also the Thales Lieutenant will pump this. And also, a Champion of the Parish will pump this. So this could very easily well be a 2 mana 3 3 human that also get other, other, other abilities. We play Noble Hierarch, we play Esper Sentinel, of course, we play Aether Vial. We're playing Imperial Recruiter, very important to tutor up your Reflector Mage, Melee Mage. You also have Tirak. With all these swamps, you have Secluded Courtyard, Unclean Territory, Silent Clearing, 4 copies. Cabin of Souls and only two Ancient Ziggurat, you can very easily kick to rack. And remember that the kicker is part of the cost. So you can pay the kicker cost with Cabin of Souls territory in secluded courtyard. And uh, what else do we have? We have Adeline that has uh, just officially replaced uh, Mantis Rider. Mantis Rider is just too weak in the format of so many good and efficient removal. And not that Adeline isn't, because it also dies to removal, but sometimes you can catch your opponent and um, and get the attack in and get the extra token, and that's very relevant. Mm, in a deck with, you know, Tyrus Lieutenant and Champion of the Parish, making an 1-1 one -one human definitely is relevant. The deck plays 3 uh, three Talia, and let's get to the cyber where you have Kiki, uh, you have Barenton Forge Tender, you have Kataki, 4 Sanctifier and Vag, Magus of the Moon, which, remember, we're playing a deck that is very important to only sideboard this in against the decks that really die to this card, okay? Don't sideboard this too generously. Uh, Deputy of Detention, Chalice of the Void, 3 Dismember, and a 4th Tirak. Again, I love humans and I'm most likely going to showcase this deck um, in the next days. I wanna give a bonus decks of the weekend because Carlos Moral, very good Spanish player, uh, sorry not this, made the top 8 with um, is it Merktide? You'd be like, all right, that's no news. Why are you showing this to us? Instead of Ragavan, he played Devil of Secrets. That's a huge deal. No Ragavan. He gave a good reasoning why he decided to play uh, Delver over Ragavan, mostly because, you know, Ragavan gets blocked and um, he just can't play extra copies of it. And this deck needs evasion, it doesn't really use well the extra mana, we don't have a companion or a saga. So he went for Delver, came second place, and check it out, because on Wednesday I'm gonna post this deck where, spoiler alert, I 5 owed a league with Blue Red Delver. So, definitely some eyebrows raising for this deck. Uh, wait for it. Alright, let's pass to Magic Arena now, where... The Magic Arena has been revolutioned, took, a, took by a storm by the Inata decks. Uh, so what does Inata do? Inata is a, a Kirin spirit, and uh, it's a 4 mana 4-4 four, four flying trample. It says spells you cast cost one less for each target. That, that, you happen to play with Magma Opus, don't you? And uh, well, what do you do? You target your opponent yourself, and two creatures, tap two lands it, well that's a six mana discount. So this deck gets to play two mana magma opus. Very, very incredible. Very, very incredible. Just like my camera being very large. That's also incredible. 
All right. So yeah, Inata is been has been like dominating both standard and alchemy. Um, this came in the fourth place. This list came in the fourth place of the standard challenge in the hands of Mogd, um, a very uh, renowned Magic online player. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely once again going to play this deck. Although I'll be focusing mostly on um, also lower hold command. This also has a lot of targets and costs only two mana with Inata in play, as well as one mana negate, one mana dragon's fire. You reduce the cost for two of Shadow Scoop Smashing and so on and so forth. This deck, this card is really, really good and definitely uh, one of the bane of the existence is going to be of both modern uh, standard and alchemy. Although, as I said, I'm going to focus mostly on alchemy because that is the format that will be featured at the uh, set championship that I have to practice for. So, unfortunately, uh, for all the standard lover, I won't really produce many content of modern of, of standard. I will be focusing on alchemy and historic because those are the, the formats of the set championship that's coming on the 11th of March. The alchemy deck that uh, Upumpa, a good friend of mine, good friend of the stream, a streamer on twitch.tv slash Upumpa89, came to um, up to 7th place with uh, Alchemy Inata Opus. He's of course playing Inata, but he's mostly... Uh, this is just a tiny little splash of white. You are a... Um, you still have access to Divide by Zero in this format, it's not banned yet. You also have access to div discover the formula that will help you fill your hand. You have the combination of Galvanic Iteration plus an expected Windfall. And you also have one Lear that surely it got nerfed pretty badly, but um, each instance was re has flashback. All right, this is weird. Sorry. Yeah, limited. No, no. Yeah. You have to replace that. Yeah, you see. Uh, you have to replace the Lear, the Holebreaker Horror, because these are now counterable, and this now has been nerfed. I guess I can show it to you. Maybe you didn't see it. All right, this is the official Lear. It says, as long as it's your turn. So that's a really big downside because you used to be able to go Lear plus Fading Gope. That also reduces the number of Fading Gope heavily in the formats because you can't go. And Elbergor has simply been nerfed that it can't be countered. Divide by Zero also got nerfed in this format. And you are now able to um, bounce, um, sorry, learn only if you bounce a card that cost uh, four or less, so uh, that's how it goes. But yeah, those are the uh, the decks that stood out the most from Alchemy and um, any store and Standard. There haven't been that many tournaments this weekend. Uh, mostly it was pre-release. I have competed in my local pre-release, and I got the sweet trophy. I opened the uh, Demir Foil Planeswalker Kaito. So. And got a sweet trophy. What else? What else? But yeah, I'm definitely going to be um, making a lot of content. I'm aiming at two videos per week per day on the channel. Um, I really want to thank you for following uh, since the, the the turn one amazing turn one kill in modern. I've had a lot more views on the channel, so I really appreciate all the newcomers. And uh, yeah, this is the type of video that in a YouTube exclusive that's coming every Monday. Tomorrow, I'm going to be posting another YouTube exclusive, uh, you know, I am making more and more content for my uh, exclusive YouTube channel uh, about a, how to play the Grixis Dead Shadow Mirror match, so that's more about modern. I am focusing a lot of modern, I think lots of people that uh, follow me and follow the channel uh, like modern a lot, so I'll definitely give that attention. I also personally love modern, so uh, we're both winning there, but yeah. Uh, there's gonna be also some um, arena because I still have to practice for the set championship and well lots of people like arena and I like to play magic as a whole. I've noticed though the draft wasn't very well received. I do read these things and uh, I'll, I'll try I'll try to I'll try to avoid draft for the channel. Maybe one year and there but uh, I definitely uh, read into this thing but yeah. Okay, that's it for me this week, for this Monday. Those are the decks of the weekend. Thank you very much for watching, and I see you next week. Woo -woo.